Next, I'd like to show the remove feature command within edit model. So when setting up a generative design, there's many times when you'd like to remove features to drive brand new innovation, right? So in this existing triple clamp that we have, an engineer had created this pocket that you see in the middle to reduce the mass of it. If we're using that as a starting shape to run through generative design, or if we had a very complicated preserved geometry itself, we might actually want to remove features like holes, fillets, or even that pocket itself, so we know that we're not going to have any issues within generative design later. So within that edit model workspace, and this is why it's so important, we have an automated feature to select the feature and the size and remove them all and then repair them as one solid. So to go back to Fusion, let's cancel out of that connector obstacle. And let's say that we wanted to automatically remove this pocket. So to do that, I'm just going to go to the Modify command at the top. And I'll say Remove Features. When I do that, I can select the solid that I'd like to remove features of. And then I can select the type of features that I'd like to remove. So as you can see here, it is highlighting the green hole in the middle. And I think we'd like to keep that in so we can call that out later as an obstacle. So by unchecking that, it's now unselecting that hole and selecting the rest of that pocket. We can also adjust the feature size that it's looking for. So if I move the feature size all the way up to the top, it's pretty much looking at everything. But if I slide that down, you can see it's only selecting what's in that pocket itself. So when I press the delete key for all of those settings that we placed, it will now run through computing what that new geometry would be. And you can see it automatically replace that pocket for us. So again, this is a very powerful tool. In many cases within generative design, you will want to replace features like that. And this is a very easy way to do that automatically.